Equisitum. The genus Equisitum as a whole, while concentrated in the non-tropical northern hemisphere, is near cosmopolitan, being absent only from Antarctica, though they are not known to be native to Australia, New Zealand nor the islands of the Pacific. They are most common in northern North America, Canada and the northernmost United States, where the genus is represented by nine species are vents, fluviatile, paluster, pretense, sylvaticum, hyemale, lavigatum, serpoides, and varigatum. Only four, Bogotense, Gigantium, Myrachetum, and Ramosisimum, of the 15 species are known to be native south of the equator. They are perennial plants, herbaceous and dying back in winter as most temperate species, or evergreen as most tropical species and the temperate species rough horsetail, e. high male, branched horsetail, e. Ramosisimum, dwarf horsetail, e. Serpoides, and variegated horsetail, e. Barragatum. They typically grow 0.2 to 1.5 meters tall, though the giant horsetails are recorded to grow as high as 2.5 meters. Northern giant horsetail, E. Telmatea, 5 meters. Southern giant horsetail, E. Gigantium, or 8 meters. Mexican giant horsetail, E. Myrachetum, and allegedly even more. Many species in this genus prefer wet sandy soils, while others are adapted to wet clay soils. One species, Aquisitum fluviatile, is an emergent aquatic, rooted in water with shoots growing into the air. The stalks arise from rhizomes that are deep underground and difficult to dig out. The field horsetail, E. Our vents, can be a nuisance weed, readily regrowing from the rhizome after being pulled out. It is unaffected by many herbicides designed to kill seed plants. However, as E. Our vents prefers an acid soil. Lime may be used to assist in eradication efforts to bring the soil pH to 7 or 8. Members of the genus have been declared noxious weeds in Australia and in the U.S. state of Oregon. All the Aquisitum are classed as unwanted organisms in New Zealand and are listed on the National Pest Plant Accord. If eaten over a long enough period of time, some species of horse tail can be poisonous to grazing animals, including horses. The toxicity appears to be due to thiaminase enzymes, which can cause thiamine, vitamin B1, deficiency. People have regularly consumed horse tails. The young plants are eaten cooked to raw, but considerable care must be taken. For example, the fertile stems bearing strobili of some species are cooked and eaten like asparagus, a dish called sukushi, in Japan. The people of ancient Rome would eat meadow horse tail in a similar manner, and they also used it to make tea as well as a thickening powder. Native Americans in the Pacific Northwest eat the young shoots of this plant raw. The plants are used as a dye and give a soft green color. An extract is often used to provide silica for supplementation. Horse tail was often used by Indians to polish wooden tools. Aquisitum species are often used to analyze gold concentrations in an area due to their ability to take the metal when it is in a solution.